Today I'm going to show you some light tank magic. This literally feels like cheating. No way. No way it actually works. He didn't spot me. You only spotted me now? I literally have no explanation what happened here and how I did not get spotted by that guy. What? He didn't sp Okay, that's weird. Okay, that's weird. Okay, that's that's okay, that's actually weird. I don't know what happened there. No idea how he didn't spot me there. But hey, he's dead. Well, that's awesome. Oh, they're actually playing quite impressive here. Where's the Yaga Panza? Okay, this guy's dead. I think I think this AX is pretty much unkillable at this point, so I'm just gonna try and go through the mid. What the Okay. Okay, that's an issue. That is... Did you... Did you blind the... Did you hit the Progetto in front of the 60 TP? Okay, that's, that guy being there is actually not that good, man. And he's fully spotted and he's clipping, man. I think I need to run, dude, because he kind of locks me out. Since nobody can spot me above 270, 280 meters, I can literally just afford being in the middle of the field, staying completely unspotted. This is the most evil tactic you can possibly imagine. You can just stop in the open, really. He would not see me. I can perma spot this guy from the open here. Look, he's permanent. <laughs> Everybody is permanent, man. You just stop in the middle of the open. Best spotting position, guys. This is the best spotting position on uh, on Malinovka. Just the middle of the field, man. Do not get spotted. Look at that guy. Look at that guy. Until he takes shots, he doesn't know he's spotted. Look at the look at the six TP. Look at him. Look at him. Look look how brave he gets, dude. Look how brave he got, dude! Agent got him, bro! Oh, this is so evil, man. This is so evil, dude. Let me just go behind them, man. Easy cutka. Nah, we don't need bushes, guys. Let's just go into the middle of the field, man. Let's just go into the middle of the field, bro. behind them. Now just start clearing them out. One by one. Oh, that's not good. Oh, I couldn't juke him as well. I was ready for that, dude. I'll spot him. Sick. Look at his gameplay. I think he's not gonna move. I mean, the one-to-one -one can shoot him, though. Look, he's going instantly, man. Look. He got triggered, man. <laughs> Nice, good job, man. Oh. Why to see me? He didn't. Oh, what? Bouncing an STB. Alright, dude. Can you kill him, guys? No, oh, man, nobody can kill him. That's unfortunate. Thank you. He's AMX full HP. I'll try and spot him, dude, but... Ah, oh, look at that, dude. Unfortunately, our STRV kept and I could not finish the battle, but the next game will be even bigger. If you would like to single-handedly win live Oaks for your team, then I suggest coming to this position here. It gets you a great overview on the middle and also on the enemy scout. If he makes a single mistake, he is dead. With the use of CVS, you can also easily spot TVs that are moving behind the bushes next to that house. Enjoy all that sweet spotting damage flowing in. Huh? Oh, lucky boy. Lucky boy. Patience is key, young Padawan. Oof. Pigochet. Now I go. Once the enemy light is dead, you can get much more aggressive and start spotting deep into the enemy lines. And if they decide to push you, well, they will be in the open for your team. If they peek, they shall be spotted. Oh. Butt shot. FV peeking in the open. Haha, <laughs> <Gag> bye. 
Ooh la la, mes amis. Unfortunately, those guys didn't get shot at all, so I decided to push up to see where their team is. At this point, it is crystal clear that they are all sitting on the zero line, judging from the look of the minimap. Oh lol. Hi. Hee <laughs> hee. He doesn't overpeak me. No? No, he's not done, dude. He's gonna die here anyway. Man's proxy. Unfortunately. Where's the rest of them? Where's the rest of the TDs, bro? Minus Effie. How is he alive, bro? How is he alive with so many guys there? That's like the fakest news ever. Hey, <laughs> Chieftain! Chieftain, man! Oh my god, man. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just outsorted my friend in Manticore. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. Uh, that side, that's not good. Nice! I'm gonna go back to initial position to spot those guys. Oh, what the f. What the f? Whole family's there, bro. Got him, bro. I can find the 60p, man. I don't think he's gonna be happy about it, though. Where is he aiming? Oh, at me, actually. Be patient, sir. It's like probably the most important tip. Don't hurry, man. Poor 60 TP. Well, thank you combined in 6 minutes. Oh, Sage. I was really unlucky. This game was absolutely crazy. Sometimes when there are just too many lights, you cannot really have good spotting games. In those cases, you have to improvise and convert yourself into a damage dealing machine. Focus EVRs first. And even though this tank is probably the second worst scout for these kind of situations, it's just perfect. Nice turret armor and alpha is all you need here. Why is there a 50 B? Looks like we're just farming damage today, man. <laughs> I noticed there's a tree in front of me, and if you want to create some extra cover for yourself, you can shoot them down aiming at their bottom with an HE shell. Four twenty blazes. Oh, now we're getting from the mid now. Let's just burn spot that guy. Here at the red line, you will find countless bushes and trees to aid you, and if you have CVS, there is simply no hiding for the enemy anymore. No, I guess we're at the very end there. A little situational report, the enemy still has a light tank, a full HP 260 with good mobility and two tanks with no mobility and camo. On top of that they have two more RTs, both with a clip. Our goal is to remove the tanks with good mobility first, to be able to use the map to kite the rest later on. At this full HP man. Oh yeah. 
Full HP LT, bro. Hit. Oh! Huge. He gets pretty lucky with the fire on the 260 and he burns down to a crisp. Huge. After removing the light tank, we don't have to worry about getting spotted anymore. Or do we? Actually, winnable. No, man, you're pushing me. Fucking piggy, dude. Surely, man, surely, dude, surely. That is something I did not expect at all. Usually, RT players unbind their W key and just sit in the base, but this time this guy just drove in their guns, a blazing, snapshooting me on the move. 7k, man. Dude, why why does every good game have to be ruined by artillery? It's okay, guys, don't despair. I have an even bigger game coming up for you. Sheridan, Proho, three light tanks, let's go. Oh, man, aggressive EBR. That is not good now. I cannot spot the. I think I can still spot, though. Kill him, boys! Wow, oh, he doesn't die for that. Unfortunate. Monty was on the other side. Now that the EBR is here, I might, I might try something more aggressive on the one-two line. Let's see. I told you he's in there. But the guy needs to die, man. He needs to die, dude. Thank you, man. There's Leo. This guy's pushing. His, his perma spotted. No man. Here I make a mistake. I thought the EBR was less than 50 meters next to me and I thought he proxied me. That's why I drove out and took a shot, even though that wasn't actually the case and he wasn't close enough. That's why I went, because I thought he proxied me, but he actually didn't. I can play now in the open here, kinda. Very sad. Now he's pushing. Uh, okay. Smart play. Sure, EBR. Oh, no, spotted me. I'm just gonna respot this 780 real quick. There you go. There you go. He needs to kind of needs to die. A second time. Really? Anyway, this guy dies now. I have the one too. Nice. Yo. At the moment they have much more tanks than we do and the game isn't looking very good. Go slowly here because I'm really tall. Look how far that guy is speaking dude. Wow. Can I cross here without being seen? Let's hope. Actually we are we need to clear this out man. We need to clear this out here fast. Oh There's the waffle dude. Agent! I expect a one hit, bro. Nice! Look at that, man. Look at that, boys. Will I still spot it? I'm not gonna fade. I'm gonna shoot him in a second. I can just farm him pretty much here. Nice. Let's find the Ardies. Let's kill him first though. What? I said this is a weird shots man today. Nice. Where's the other RT? Two sixty. Oh wow! I try and come help you. So I need to kill this guy first. Let's kill him. Wow, man, really? That is so unlucky, dude.
Get safe now. Where from? Where is that guy? Okay. Even though the Sheridan is the worst light, it's still a light and you will still outspot anyone on the map like Prorovka. The key is to keep enough distance at all times and to approach from angles where the enemy least expects you. I hope he's not full HP with you, this man. Really hope. Hope he's not full HP, dude. I stay here a little bit to see if the Udes is pushing down the 1 2 line. I'm gonna move, I think. To go, we can go through the mid, kind of. The Rhino is foolishly capping, which means I can approach him from any kind of angle and I will still see him without him seeing me. Let's not risk it. Let's not risk it, man. Oh my god, man. At this point, judging from his movement, I thought he was gonna go push the mate, so I basically just wait until the last second and I make my way towards the 1-2 line once again to be able to flank him from behind. Goes back into the cap? Wow. It's literally the worst thing you can do, man. It's gonna be there, I think, on the left. Holy man. Like, no man. Hit. I'm gonna just go all the way on the K line, dude. <laughs> How lucky do you get, man? There's no way, bro. Jeez, GG's, man. A lot of light pillars made the mistake of going up the hill on cliff. Don't do that. Instead, offer the one to line. Here you can get a lot of spotting since they usually have a lot of TDs hiding there. And this also allows you to later get into the best spotting position on this map, which you will see. Nah. This time, the enemy TDs had a lot of camo and were just hiding really well, so I decided to push up to try and clear the top side. If you look at the minimap, you can see that there's nobody in the middle anymore that can really spot me, so I'm gonna try to spot the entirety of their backline from here. This is the best position on this map. Oh, it's boxing me, Sage. This guy's gonna get farmed because he's AFK. This time, the enemy TDs had a lot of camo and were just hiding really well, so I decided to push up to try and clear the top side. Big Yag Panzer, big, big, big. Careful, agent. Yag, Yag, Yag can shoot. It's baffling to me how much camo those TDs can actually get. I mean, look at this map. Come on, boys. Big Gorilla Gamer. This guy's gonna drop. Ooh, look, guys. Man, these people have camo on it, I swear. Like, holy shit, man, they have come on it, bro. They have come on it, bro. There's TRV there, too, man. There's a whole family up there, dude. Ow! Oh, 
はいフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフ This battle has been absolutely crazy, and you will see why. We have a T Honda, and he's playing with the Gorilla and the Effie. But he's in the mid, though. First, I go into this position to see if there will be enemies crossing, but there was absolutely nothing. Not even their light was here. So I decided to push and be a little bit more aggressive, since from this position it is pretty easy to spot the enemy campers who are sitting here. I'm gonna spot the TDs now. Now they will be perma spotted, those guys. Look at this carnage. Look at this carnage, boys. I don't know where the enemy is, man. I don't know where the Leo is. As they are trying to hide lower and lower, the more and more you need to move up on the K line to keep them spotted. The beauty of scouting is the fact that these enemies will never know they are perma. Look at those gamers there. <laughs> I know where the T100 is. How did the agent get spotted there? Huh? What the? Oh, what the? Really? He never spotted me from there? That is so weird, man. That is so weird, man. Look at, the, look at that waffle, dude. Nice. Nice. Wow, the camo net activated. Look at that guy. The camo net just activated, boys. Waffle is still there. He didn't move. I'm gonna get more aggressive, I think. There we go. He, he, he. Did you just go AFK? Find the FE. There's the FE. Progetto, man. Come on. He's on the top. Nice. Oh, yeah. We're, we're losing the other side, though, which kind of sucks. I guess I could go for the art. What are you doing there in, an, in a Leo, man? Oh. Holy f. What is the Leo doing there? Damn. Wow, man. Most aggressive Leo gamer on the, on the European server, guys. Right now, we have the advantage of controlling this upper set, and since this Leo is playing completely randomly, I need to be prepared for the possibility of him pushing me. This bush is perfect to sit and wait for him. I'm gonna get more aggressive. Should be fine. Should be fine, because if the Leo pushes, I will see him a little bit earlier. Maybe the left push. Actually pushing forward, dude. Oh, he might have spotted me there. No, he didn't. It's hard to grasp how close I was to getting spotted here. The viewports of the Leo were just behind the region, but I managed to get away with my skin intact until something even scarier happened. My WZ has a great angle on those guys, so all I have to do is just stay alive while perma spotting them. Little they know that they're perma. I think he thinks he's like a blind shot, actually. Yeah, I think he thinks he's a blind shot, dude. Now let's play a game, guys. I would like you to pay attention to the distance between me and them. If it reaches 50 meters, I'll be proxy spotted. But just how close they get. No way. No way it actually works. Fuck. the chief. <laughs> Yo, chief. <laughs> Kill him, adds all to injury. Nice. To counter enemy lights from this side of Muravanka, I usually come here. It's a pretty good position, but if the enemy light shows up just in front of you, then you have to play a little differently. Eventually, you'll have to get him killed to play the forest without any kind of pressure, and he makes a big mistake here. Come on, man. He should have died for that. For some odd reason, certain live players apparently have their UI turned off and don't see that they are one-shots. Well, he proxies me, but no matter, he dies for it, and now I get to rule the entirety of the forest, which will greatly aid my team in victory. I suggest knocking some of these trees down to create an escape route for you in case you're getting pushed or proxied. Run is blinding me. Eventually, if there is no risk of getting spotted from the left side, you should make your way to the very edge of the forest here. This is the best spotting position while remaining defensive enough in order not to get sent back to the garage early. He 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 he. <laughs> Look at the lordy man. He doesn't even have a sixth sense, bro. Surely he knows he's spotted, no? 
And finally, the artist that was perma split in the open for three minutes died. And this guy's blinding, man, with the crown. <laughs> I mean, at least he's doing something. Look at the flush. Oh, bro. Nice, he's dead. Go a little bit deeper. When you push so deeply like I do, you need to be very careful and check the houses first. People love to sit in positions that make no sense at all. Nice. We can put the crown wagon. These arty positions, man. My guy is sitting in the middle of nothing. Crown didn't even notice I'm here. Alright then. <laughs> Progetto takes 2k damage, dies. I'll just go back to it. How about the perma spot? Actually, I can shoot them in the ass. Nice. You can kill the crown, I can bait him to pick me and you kill him, okay? Wait. Well, he can't kill me anymore, so I'll just rush him. Sweet! 9.3, dude. Good game. Once again, there are times when you get a map where it's impossible to do any spotting with your light tank. And you might ask, guys, what can I do here? Well, the good thing about the AMX 3105 is the fact that you have really nice firepower, so you should always use the other strengths of your tank in such cases. In this case, going after a hill is a good choice. Our TVP is luckily supporting me, and since their patch won't be reloaded by the time you get up there, you can still do nice damage before that. Thanks, Giga Chad. He didn't spot me. I mean, this gun has nice damage output, man, I'm not gonna lie. It does have nice damage output, dude, for sure. <laughs> oh man, this is such a bully position, dude. Wait, they're pushing you. I'll, I'll try and help, dude. Point six k man. I mean, I couldn't do anything else, man. I don't do damage, bro, on this map. The third about this thing is really mobile, though. I, I really like it. And welcome back to Prorovka. Can I finally break my spotting record here? Let's see. There's only one light tank, so going into the safe bush is key in the beginning. Nice! Great job, man. After he's done, we can now get into the most obvious spotting bush ever, but it still works if you keep moving and not stay in the same position all the time. You'll be impossible to blind shot. Team is too much in the back still. I think this PTA will try and stay aggressive. Guy yeah, knows what's up. PTA will definitely stick around, I think. I have the luxury right now to play a little bit more patient. The reason I'm moving here is I don't want to get blind shot by the FE. Okay, I'm gonna move now a little bit. So a little closer. Problem is I can't really cross here until he's dead. Because if I cross in the middle on the right side, then this guy will spot me. And if I cross in the left side, then this guy will spot me.
At least guy needs to die until I can move, that's the problem. Five hours later. I think I'm gonna try moving here. There's WZ. Nice. As you can see, you need to be extremely careful and pay attention to your surroundings here. The smallest mistake can get you sent back to the garage, so keep that in mind. I think they blind shot the art even they tried to shoot the tortoise, man. <laughs> nice, dude. Minus tortoise. Bye bye, keg bye. Nice. Thank you. Nice. Shoot him here. We get a fire. <laughs> 13k spotting man I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a lot Please let me know what you think about this video and its format I'll be glad to do a second part of this if you reach 3000 likes Also, a lot of you guys haven't subbed yet And as we are getting very close to 50,000 subs Which was a childhood dream of mine Please consider supporting me with a simple sub Thank you guys, stay awesome and I'll see you very soon